it's on the side. I open it. Yeah, no, I... it's it's significantly more difficult to open now. Yeah. We're getting it. Okay. Oh, dude, why? Did you like have this in your pocket or something? I'm not trying to open it. I know. I'm trying to open it for you. Oh my goodness. Okay. okay. Wait, 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 wait. The situation is far from stable. Okay, now I know. Knowing is half the battle, but I don't want you to eat wrapper. <laughs> it's just, it's just, I know, right? Yeah, you, I know. You don't want to either. Oh, wait. Okay. That Laffy Taffy was soft. Indicative of being warm at some point. What's it mean? What does it mean? It means this is uh, automatic for automatic games for the uh, video you are currently subjected to. I hope said video finds you well and in good health. High spirits, all that good stuff. I'm all of that and more. So put that in your hat and smoke it. Welcome to more Easy Red 2. We're going to, um, I'm basically sharing a, another custom map and, uh, streaming a little earlier. And so, therefore, you hear my son talking about rappers. And he doesn't mean Puff Daddy. No, sir. That, that's topical. All right. No, we'd do it. So, okay, I got a, got a new map. We're calling it, uh... <laughs> We're calling it Country Lane. It was supposed to be Country Lane. Kind of a generic place. Uh, but, uh... I don't know, I left the tea out, so now it's Country Lane. What, what, what do you want? I think it's good. And we'll start just by going to the map editor, I think. Or rather, mission editor. Name of the mission is Ambush. That's liable to change, too. All right. There's still work to be done on it, for sure. Like how even... Connecting those fences because you know they either need a pillar on the end or they ought to connect. But uh, here is the aforementioned lane, so to speak. Um, in terms of the area immediately surrounding it, I do have it uh, somewhat decorated uh, with farm fields comes up to this crossroads and at the crossroads uh, you've got a little hamlet that's a little church in the background there uh, the gravestones uh, those were just single pillars but I doubled them up and up close it's kind of obvious but from a distance at a glance, anyways. Uh, one one would just assume that they're headstones. Uh, this is this is kind of a side road. It becomes somewhat somewhat important as time progresses in the, in the battle. Finish going up. Uh, oh, and on the other side, a uh, little dirt dirt path leading up to uh, leading up to a house on uh, elevated ground. Not like severely elevated, but tactically anyways, this would certainly control that lane. Um, unfortunately, that is not really utilized. But, you know, I can put as many missions on, on this map as, as I want, so I could utilize it. We'll see. Anyways, back down the dirt road, back to the main lane, country lane. 
get into this rocky area. Uh, that is a mission objective where that truck was. Um, little spillover from the river because this map is uh, divided by a river up here. And essentially, I just wanted to build a map with a bridge. Um, kind of as a learning experience. I don't know. There's maybe eight different bridges, maybe more. And uh, so I just kind of started with that. Like, uh, what does it mean to put down a bridge? Is it, does elevation matter that much in terms of like placing the object? Um, the most vital question, I think, like, will AI use the bridge? Yeah. Um, especially AI vehicles. And that, that's kind of hit or miss. I've got it working here, but as you can see, the lane in question is just like, it's straight, straight as an arrow. Um, and that, in essence, is how I got the vehicle, vehicles to like want to use the bridge. And so in terms of like my, my kind of like test, my challenge for myself, like, Hey, let's try to do a map with a bridge. Um, I guess, I guess I kind of passed it. Uh, so I know that can be done now. And subsequently, like most of the roads, like this intersecting road, which for a moment I was going to make a railroad. But then I thought, no, that'll be the next map or something. Um, but as you can see, it's straight as well, just in case in the future I want to put any objectives and have vehicles like choose to use the road. Um, cause the road is just a texture. So really you just kind of got to pay attention to the AI pathing and in a sense, build your roads around that. Um, and it's a work in progress. So this is obviously going to be a defensive position right now. It's just, it's just that, um, same thing over here, sort of, obviously this is some kind of utility house with a water tower. And uh, same deal here. It's kind of like they dug in a little bit. But I'm not there yet. Uh, everything I have mission-wise pretty much brings the Allies up to the bridge, up to this side of the bridge, which I believe is the west side of it. Um, and I thought, well, I'll just do another mission for them crossing the bridge and encountering whatever's on the other side. Uh, also, a lot of what I, I've kind of just tried to play with the AI with this one. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Hey, Kilvo, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Hope you are well this evening. Please, uh, pardon the ambient noise, but that's kind of the risk I take uh, when I stream earlier than, than usual. Uh, anyhow, so I'm going to test this uh, a couple different ways. I'm going to start just by being a spectator and let the AI do its thing. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Doesn't matter which faction, since we are just spectating. Um, we we'll head up the lane, up to up to the manor here, one of the houses you, you cannot enter. Which, I, I like some of those houses, hate that you can't enter them, uh, but I, so I tend to use them on the periphery, you know. Um, as you can see, this lead vehicle has essentially the only German officer in it, chilling in the back. And he's being followed by technically squads that I named reserve groups um they are like for instance they're not fully equipped they're not wearing helmets in many cases uh, anyhow uh because they are they're, they're just reserve troops and they are behind their own lines so so they're just really not not expecting anything the mission here for the allies are commanders have dropped in and they're to secure this crossroad in order to link up with regular infantry, then move on to the bridge. 
and secure the bridge. The front would be that way, the way that these German trucks are coming from. Looks a bit like a Daisy map style. Right on. Yeah, it's, you know, it's um, simple graphically, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I could kind of see that. Oh, the ambush begins on that side. My bad. Uh, and the officer's dead. And certainly that's not necessarily part of the commander's plan, but I figured it was a cool way to start it. Where it's like, damn near one of the first casualties is a German commander. Not to say it'll all be chaos after that, but initially, oh yeah. The first truck is pretty much wiped out. Those guys jumped out and got mowed down. Again, one side's ready for this, the other one's certainly not. These guys should start, yep, start withdrawing. Essentially, they made the capture point up there so brief that it was just supposed to facilitate the ambush. And the cool thing about making that brief is the Germans immediately want to move next, move back to the next capture point. So the naked eye looks like they're like, screw this, we're backing out. And in doing so, they're moving on this house. Well, they're not really getting in. Some of them did. But I kind of liked that withdrawing action. And I've seen the Germans hold this house for a little longer than this, but it almost seems like we're not going to hold much longer. Yeah, see the Tommies are coming from the hills over there too. Um, okay, they're aiming down the main lane. <coughs> yeah, there's another German troop carrier. There's actually more way down the road. Even this troop carrier is going to be disorganized troops. Men that were probably in the convoy, yeah. Most of them don't have backpacks. Um, a lot of them aren't, aren't wearing any helmets. Uh, this is where it's getting real. These guys are Panzer Grenadiers. They've had enough time to get all their equipment on hand. And they're being followed up by a half-track that definitely means business. This, this half-track, I believe, is going to present chaos. Or at least so far it has in the tests that I've done so far. The commandos are still holding, and actually they're about to wake up at the end of the day. <laughs> that what is this called Daimler Daimler or something anyway that scout vehicle it's part of the leading echelon sometimes I mean it's all up to chance sometimes it's the leading echelon of the infantry uh, that half track could take this thing out uh, and vice versa Yep, half track one that. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, that sucks. Not that I'm choosing sides, but I have noticed that this half track takes out the uh, British armor. It can dominate this little hamlet. Infantry can take out some of the crew, but it's, it's very unlikely. Certainly a grenade would do it. Hey, Diz, how you doing, man? And Kilvo, yeah, I'm good. Thanks for asking. No, man, lurk. Lurka, lurka. Lurk away, my friend. I'm an avid lurker myself. Okay, now a German half-track is coming up. Not the same kind. Still. It's got an MG36 on it. 
Is that right? MG36? 34? And a Panzer IV. The first model of Panzer IVs. So it's got kind of a stunted gun that, uh, I believe fires primarily high explosives. So it's really not, not the most proficient tank at tank-on-tank -tank warfare. Great for anti-infantry. In fact, that's what the Germans have in spades here. Um, between this half-track and the other much more potent one. And the Panzer IV. Here comes another British armored element. Scout vehicle, essentially, like the first ones to get in the battle, of course. Other than the commandos, of which I don't think there's any left. Dude, you gotta fire at one of the armored vehicles. <laughs> well, that was a miraculous writing of itself right there. Yeah. This is, um, the fight is liable to go this way, but it's really not the way I wanted it to go. Because it means the battle could end at these crossroads. And the reason I, I can kind of see that happening is two of those British vehicles are knocked out, and now the Germans have, what, two half tracks and a Panzer IV and a hell of a lot of infantry, and not that unprepared infantry at this point. I don't think they have anything else coming right now. Oh no, there's another vehicle coming in from the east. We'll pay it a visit. I want to see if it'll cross the bridge. It might get a little confused on the far end of the bridge. Right about here. Or will it just take it? Nope, it's getting confused. Alright, so what you gonna do? Did says I'm good, Otto. Thanks for asking. Glad to hear it, man. Alright, we'll just chalk this up to the driver stalling. Like, ah, do we just want to hold up on the bridge? Good. That's what I wanted to see. Okay. Slight delay, that, that's completely acceptable. Well, let's see if the Brits have been able to do anything with the German mechanized forces. Yes, this half-track. Still got a driver, but its machine gunner is dead. Uh, the more dangerous half-track... up here running over British soldiers. My god. Come on. I know there, there are some anti-tank. One of them could pop off the shot at this thing. But hey, the good news is I believe the machine gun has been wiped out. Yes, so this thing is useless. Um, the Panzer IV. That's the real threat. I like how it's kind of like just tucked under that tree. There is more British armor way down the road. Okay, it's still light armor. But the gun on that will pierce a Panzer IV. Or at least a Panzer IV E, I think this is. I don't know. It's the first model. This driver should be, like, soliciting these infantrymen for, like, hey, would you take the gun? <coughs> I don't think it's going to happen. I want to check on that British armor. All right, dude, you're going to go get... What are you shooting at? We know he has to prioritize the commands before, and he's not. He's shooting at one of the half-tracks, probably. 
That smoke's not gonna help. Okay, I think, okay, I thought the German half-track just ran over one of the dudes, but... I don't think he was going fast enough to do, uh... Do damage. Kubo says, at least, uh... Now I can put your voice to a face after your last videos. Yep, you can you can envision my ugly mum in, in various levels of God I was sick too. I mean you can hear him still fall. But that's just from working at the factory. Ahoy there, Caspa. How is one? Good to see you. Dude. Dude, hit. You have to shoot at the Panzer. I know he's tough to see. I don't know what just hit the Panzer, but... That is a bit of a miracle for the Allies. I think there's another troop truck that just crossed the bridge. There are some Germans still left in the rubble, but... I believe the Brits are making a big push, and they've still got troops to spare. Let's see what that is coming down the street. Oh, hell. Not saying no hell about the truck. That's gotta be mortars. That's our mortar team. Our I'm acting like I'm on the British side. I'm just a spectator here. That's what happened. The British held that place long enough that some stuff spawned in that uh, I've seen it where they don't hold it and the Germans get all those vehicles in the hamlet. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess... I guess that's what happened. Because those mortars are going to make a difference. I think they already are. I mean, hell, I didn't know they could hit the bridge from there. But they can, apparently. Hey, True, how you doing, man? Apparently my message didn't like me calling you a sexy cat. Well, I appreciate it anyways. Even if YouTube doesn't. Yeah, the scout car is like, we're kind of out of here. With another Panzer rolling down the, the boulevard. Still, if if an infantry commander can get a beat on that Panzer and relay it to the uh, mortars, we're in business, or the Brits are in business, and at least get this battle moving to the to its next phase. Because of course, at the beginning of this, I said the, the commanders were to seize this um, Hamlet. And then secure the bridge. Securing the bridge certainly hasn't happened, considering the Germans have already rolled two Panzer IVs over it. And they're bringing in more troops. I don't know where this guy's driving to. He doesn't either. His truck couldn't handle it. <coughs> this is not going to end well for him. We're not watching. Uh-oh. I am doing well. Doing pretty, pretty good. Where'd that tank go? Oh, there it is. It crashed into the scout car? Yes, do it. Do it. Perfect. Now you are the dominant... You're the alpha tank. 
I guess. <laughs> the scout car. It's doing the Lord's work over there. Shit. Just when I think the Brits have secured the crossroad, more stuff's coming down the lane. Old Conry Lane. These guys haven't even disembarked. They're in there playing their handheld devices. And a third Panzer IV is coming down the street. <coughs> Secure this place before it gets here, man. So one thing I'm noticing out the gate is the randomness of it. Like... I've told it what to spawn, but it's like, yeah, we might spawn that. We might not. In this case, they've kind of given the Brits a deficit of armored vehicles. I mean, the Scout is... You've seen how a heavy machine gun will take out the Scout vehicle. But the gun on it... The gun on it is stopping... Uh, stopping Panzer IVs, and that's... That's important. What is going on? Um, I think we might have moved to another phase. Somehow, even though it doesn't seem like the crossroads are secure, from the British viewpoint, I feel like the British attention has turned to the bridge. Um, I might be wrong. Yeah, it has. It definitely has. Because otherwise that tank would be moving on the... Uh, that's another Panzer IV. Again, the first model of Panzers, Panzer IV. Um, yeah, it would not have stopped here. So definitely the objective. The British objective is moved to the bridge. And as you can see, the Germans are reinforcing. And we are well past the surprise under equipped German forces. These are not elite forces, but they've had a moment to be briefed and issued everything that they might want. Okay, maybe not everything. Do you understand what I'm saying? They're dealing with a full kit. They've got their bandages and their tuna fish. And, their... and the Brits are going to be a little harder to spot just coming through the woods. And I don't know that they'll win this. They lost way too many trying to take what's left of this hamlet. Rob, how you doing? Good to see you, man. Yeah, let me catch up here. We'll put the camera on uh, on this, even though we really haven't seen that Panzer just sitting there. That's a dick move. And the the first Panzer IV, like I mentioned. Oh yeah, okay. Well. So that's not exactly how I wanted it to go, but because I wanted to show off every phase of it. Um, that said, like the only phases to remain were in and around that bridge. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I spectate again and try to give the Brits that extra push, like take control of one of those armored vehicles. <laughs> I just read ahead of myself. Um, <clears throat> True says, just getting drunk and wondering if I should hit the button. You know me, I'm not here for fame. <laughs> hit the button, man. Hit the button. And tell him we sent you. No. Oh, how the turns have tabled. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Those Germans got good. I know this will sound like a scouting adventure, 
How does your son feel about the Philadelphia Eagles? <laughs> I sure could use some more fans for fans or players. I can't say he's even familiar with them. Oh, that Panzer Three is laying down the heat. Oh, it, well, hold on. What's wrong, man? Oh dear. Words. Hold on one second. And they have a catastrophe of sorts. <coughs> All right. Here, bud, I'll, I'll come check it out. Don't flush it again. Let me let me come take a look. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. Good deal. Yeah, we can't put too much into the toilet. Um, we will set this up. Choose the British side. Go to spectate. I'm, I'm going to put this at the the very spot where the German officer, where the fight begins. For those that weren't here, there's uh, German reserve troops not really prepared for battle. I mean, they, they're armed, but whatever. Um, with their leader at the front in a little, little German Jeep car. And uh, this is where the attack will begin. Good. British commanders are going to move on that um, crossroads. Let me see that. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> what do we got? What? Oh my. Well, there's one way to kill a stream, is to walk away. Um, so we have a little bathroom catastrophe that I need to see to. Uh, uh, let's just say we're, we're cleaning the bathroom floor tonight. During the stream. Um, that's, that's what's happening.
Man, okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is pour some dish soap into the toilet. Because that can unclog it. Uh, in its own right, you know, without... Water's too high to plunge. And, um... You know, the nice thing is, the water looks clean. I think maybe he must have flushed more than once or something, I don't know. But, uh, that is the battle that I will be only doing. I do wonder if the Brits will be able to knock out this half track. And they did. Okay. So this one will go a little different. Alright. Uh, dish soap in the toilet. So there you go. Um, <laughs> Alright, so I just threw a bunch of towels on the bathroom floor. Enough to cover it. And then uh, poured dish soap in the toilet. Okay, there's some kind of battle going on. And yeah, the Brits are doing better. I don't know if any commandos survived. Yeah, they did. That's highly unusual. And again demonstrates how much like variance the AI will put into it in terms of what they spawn for you when, even though you told them what to spawn, they might not. You might tell them to spawn a tank and two units of infantry, and they will probably spawn that, I guess. If you put more units, it'll kind of pick and choose. Um, and in this case, just the fact that that thing got knocked out so quick has certainly made a hell of a difference. Which means... Well, shit, there's the Panzer IV. Which, if it takes shots at that infantry, unimpeded, the Brits are in trouble. Okay, well, it's trying to shoot the ones in the house. In what's left of the house. Yeah, this is F, yeah, on both ends. The least that could have happened is being able to see the poop. I mean, come on, poop church, man. I know, I... Well, honestly, there wasn't any in there. Which makes me wonder... Maybe it got down the drain. Oh, flip, tank, flip. Either way, this... Yes. No. It's a little, it's a little janky. I mean... I'm not going to cover up the warts. I don't know what he's firing at, but he was, he was firing in that direction. There's only Germans coming from that direction. Oh shit, how did they get that thing running again? Or is that a new one? Alright, so this is where I intervene. We'll take over a tank crew if there is one. Uh, we gotta hit the tanks. In fact, we'll kind of get to the high ground. Although, I can't really see. Although, I don't really have to. As long as my AI gunner can see. There we 
we go. Here's a clearing. Are our mortars already there? Because that'll make a difference too. Dude. <laughs> Something hit me. That's ridiculous. Alright, come on. We need to take out the enemy tank. Let's just go flying in there, target the tank, and take them out. Because every minute I waste, there's more British lives being lost. And I don't mean that to be sentimental. I mean it to be uh, clerical. <laughs> um, just a numbers game. That's it, right there, right there, right there. Switching to gunner. Come on. Right there, though. Just in case that wasn't armor piercing, because my HUD's off. Shit, is that him moving? I gotta find out. Yeah, that's armor piercing. Small explosion. What happened to that tank, though? Shoot. Somebody just threw or fired smoke. I feel like that tank's right there. Or that's where it was. Maybe I took him out. But I don't see black smoke billowing out like you do with the, uh, with the half track. Dude moved. Liable to get hit by my own mortars here. There's the tank. Maybe it's empty? I don't know. No, it's turret is turning. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. God, was he there the whole time? I know the trees have despawned, but I guess that's what was uh Winding him to me and me to him, I suppose. I don't know. All right, see, we're going to hold this crossroad. I just had to intervene manually. Explosive. Getting better at this no HUD business. At least able to tell the ammunition one from the other. Son of a. Eh, well, at least he hit something and is backing up. High explosive, right? Yes, yes, yes. Scooby doo bop bop bop, yes, yes. Scooby doo bop bop, deep, deep. Oh, come on, that, that didn't. That did. That did a little something. There's one way back there, too. Oh, well. Uh. 
I like this little thing. It's zippy. I forget what it's called. It's, um, starts with a D, like D A I M E R, D A I M L E R, Daimler. Rob says a scout car for the advance. It feels like a light tank, but it can't take a hit from that main gun, right? I do like this thing's gun, though. The fact that it can pierce that Panzer IV on Early Panzer IV. I want to throw that caveat out there. These aren't like Battle of the Bulge Panzers. And plus, their gun stinks at... Uh, I think they fire exclusively HE. Um, the Panzer IV... Whatever model that is. With that stubby little gun. Well, I guess my machine gunner's out of shot. Oh man, it's terrible. Uh-oh, someone just... Let's go. Someone fired something big. I'm wrong. We're not taking this class. Where are we? Like, where's that guy going? Don't... Uh, did you just use the potty? No. Okay, because we can't for a little bit until that... Oh yeah, it does cost money. Right. And if you try to buy it, you'll see you can't. You did try to buy it? Okay, well that's good. Um, well, just on your computer, it will prevent you from buying stuff. Um, no, 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 that doesn't mean it's impossible, bro. It's Easter weekend. Maybe the bunny will front you the two dollars. We'll see, but not tonight. I mean, because you only have 40 minutes to bet. No time to get into a new game. Yeah, stay away from the bathroom, please. <laughs> Look like the Panzer III. I think it, yeah, I think it is the Panzer IV. Um, the Panzer III is in the game. In fact, I, if I can get to the bridge part, I have them roll out a Panzer III. But I definitely, I went with the worst Panzer IV there was. Truly the one that they, they learned from real quick. Like, oh, we don't want that. Only because, like, I wanted the, I wanted the intimidation of them rolling something big across that bridge, but also something that the Daimler here could, uh, and pardon if I'm, if I, if it's Daimler or something, not super familiar with British <laughs> light scout vehicles, um, but I wanted something that that this thing could penetrate the front armor. And case in point, here comes another one. It's got that boxy look, the early pants for us all. What? It says it's free? Well then, click on it. Get it. If you can. I, you can't? You don't need the Easter Bunny for free. I mean, come on. That's got to be our mortars. Oh, 
from what I understand of this mono Panzer, because because I watched a video of it uh, with the tank museum, and they were talking about how like the Germans were pretty much thinking like, well, we we want like a truly, even though they kind of had it, um, a truly anti-infantry tank, and then they realized because of the eastern front that like no we're gonna need anti-tank tanks or tanks that are capable of holding their own and so they made all kinds of changes to it now i want to go back into spectator mode which means i want to get the scout vehicle knocked out it's kind of tricky See, I did not give the Germans any big AT guns or anything, because, again, scenario-wise, this is well behind enemy lines. Like, there is no defense in depth or anything like that. On the other side of the river, there will be, but... Uh, yeah, they... The scenario is they weren't expecting to get hit. There's one way to do it. Damn, okay, they had something. Through the wall, take the trees down. Oh, well, we're about to learn this too. The AI, I thought, gets killed in the wall. Maybe only if they're out of a vehicle? Huh, that's what it is. Okay. That's funny then. Any tank I've seen go into deep water, its crew is still alive. In terms of game mechanics. That's interesting. Boy, then that... That means if they... That means if they're set to respawn, they won't respawn. Okay. Okay, back to spectator mode. I think the Brits can handle it from here. Sometimes I'll... Like, here's one thing I've noticed. That the British like to... They like to engage from this area over here. And so what that'll kind of make me do is, like... I almost want to build a little house here. Maybe a little farm plot. And that is, in fact, what I did with the church back here. I noticed that they would move. They would come all the, Like, I have them spawning at the end of this road down here. They would stay on the high ground, move up to where the manor is now. There was no manor there then. They would rally there and then push down here. And they kept engaging the hamlet from this little hill. I had nothing on the hill. So I was like, well, I'll put a church there. Sure enough, now they now they use this wall for cover. They still make this approach. In the rallying point, I turned into the area where these really overpowered mortars, these mortars have much further range than I would expect, is all I'm going to say. Because look, they are firing from here all the way over to here. Now from what I understand, the only way they're able to do that game mechanic wise is because I put a radio up here by them, which means they are, in a sense, communicating with squad leaders, getting coordinates. Yep, there it is. If you don't put that radio there, they'll still fire, but they'll only fire line of sight. Jeez. The Germans win again. Huh. Well, man, I mean, you get very uh, different outcomes, although that was two German wins in a row. That's far from what I expected. Because uh, in the private testing so far, uh, the Brits have really had no problem getting to the bridge. And then the bridge, other than that first push, 
once they take this bank, essentially just this little concrete area here, which they failed to do this time, um, it's a cakewalk. Because at that point, I have artillery spawn in on this hill, which, God, combined with those mortars. I don't know. Is that reasonable range for mortars? That seems way far, in my opinion. But then again, I'd be the last person to know. It's got the right number of road wheels for a Panzer IV, but the top of the body looks wrong. Might just be that they're depicting a model I'm less familiar with. Here's a... Let me, um... Oh, yeah, like, I'm in... I'm in this mode. I could... I could spawn the models they have. Uh, they don't... They certainly don't have all... Well, obviously, they don't have all of them, but... Uh, how do I want to do that? I think like that. Vehicles. There it is. Uh, the Daimler was, um, so yeah, Daimler Mark II was the British light vehicle we were using there. Um, so that's the 4E. Yeah. yeah, bud. Yeah, Bill. What's up? Look at this level. <laughs> what am I? I Look at a, this level. Oh. It's oh, weird. whoa. The way it forms in front of you? It, it's the level in the game. Oh, that's cool. I like it. It's the 22nd level. It was only really to do with you. Because it has a lot of decorations. Huh. Really, they, they use the same model there. Or he used the same model, I should say. Um, maybe a better... Uh, oh, that's got the little skirt armor, I see. Um, let's look at a Panzer three in game. Well, Panzer 3E, which is the Luke's, right? Man, I like that tank. Um, let's look at more Panzers. I don't know. I've never, uh, I've never looked at them side by side. Panzer 38T, clearly predating the Panzer II, even. Yeah. Um, the bigger Panzers now, where we kind of stop calling them Panzers, right? <laughs> Horrible wind. Crazy. I mean, I've seen one of those before, you know, in pictures or whatever, but it's weird looking. The AAA, -A -A, isn't it? Panther. I think there's only the tiger left, right? Or no, that's not true. There's probably quite a few of them left, but. Yeah, okay. Game wise, there's just a tiger left. And the tiger's smaller than the panther, right? Or at least in game. <laughs> uh, 
those 20 millimeter AA guns will F up infantry. I believe it, yeah. That's cool though. I mean, they've they've got a decent selection. The 38T, I'm curious about that. Like Like is that not a Panzer 1 then? Oh, there's a faster way to do that. or no? There's really not. I forgot I have it on. Uh mission mode, not map mode. I guess also I kind of wanted this to take place in 41 which I keep kept having to look up what it was I was placing I, I, I can't place any tigers or panthers but I can't, can't place the cats In fact, I had to unequip, um, I think they're called Piats, P-I-A-T, um, kind of like the British bazooka. I had their anti-tank armed with that and then realized, like, no, they weren't, they weren't issuing that in 41. They had an anti-tank rifle called the Boys, <laughs> the Boys, and, uh, and so I had to equip them with that. All right, so... Now I guess I'll just play I'll play two more times as both sides. As the British, which I, I kind of intended this map to be played as the British. Um, and then it's the Germans, and I don't know, like the ambush part, I wonder if I can... I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. But In terms of the map, of course I'm on mission maker mode, not map maker mode. So you can build a map like, like I've done here. And you could have, I don't know how many missions, as many missions as you want based on that map. It's kind of what I'm doing, although it's a smaller map. The missions here lead up to the bridge, and then I'm going to make another set of missions. So another like game session that starts on the river, maybe? I've thought of a few different scenarios, like make it nighttime and have people cross the river and do specific things, or have a huge artillery duel, although it would just wipe out everything and there'd be no solution. Um, or quite obviously, you know, the push across the bridge from one side or, or the other, whether it's German counterattack or, or the Brits push to the east side. Um, in terms of the map, though, like, you know, I kind of mentioned there are those little spots where I notice that soldiers will congregate. This is one of them. Where I'm kind of like, yeah, I could build a little cabin there or a farm. Make, make it look like they stopped there for a reason. Because it affords them some kind of cover. Um, and of course, if you're going to do that, you have to be satisfied with the mission details that you have. Like, you can't go back and start changing which soldiers spawn where. Because they won't stop there anymore. Um, and then I notice I, I've got a big empty space over here, which is still technically in map. And so I can't think of anything detailed for it. I think I'm just going to maybe put a farm or two over there uh, rather than just make it be woods. Um, same thing over here. Once you get past this line of trees, you can see that I've started work on, on the heights beyond the town. And you can see that they are going to be dug in positions, but I've yet to complete those. And, and even after that, there is all sorts of detail. Like, I am tempted to go into these houses and start adding tables. I do want to add street lights and a few more street signs. Just, um, I enjoy it, though. Like, painting little rocks here. Like, I feel like I'm building a little diorama, except for it actually fights. <laughs> it's just kind of cool. Um, I'm also kind of toying with the crossable areas. I've denoted those with rocks and shallows, um, and then there are areas, I don't know, yeah, there you can see it. Then you are, there are areas where you just plunge deeper into the water and you can't quite get out. 
And I've kind of done that and then looked at where the units went. And like one of the commando teams comes from here, essentially comes from these boats, but I needed them spawn on the other side of the river. So they got there at the right time, like to the ambush spot at the right time. But before I had the deep water out to here and a bunch of them would just run and drown, leaving only a handful to move on, which is uh, interesting. But the way I have it timed now, they show up at the same time as that German officer in his car shows up. If I move this back, they will ambush his car while it's moving. I've moved it up, so he stops his car at the moment that he sees them. And then they open fire and kill him. But I kind of like that. I kind of like that subtle change that, like, he can see them, and so he stops the vehicle, and then, then it happens. Anyways, we're going to start by playing the British. The boys. Not bad, Dino Guy. Welcome back. I like the bridge. It um I've tinkered with it enough that more times than not, the German reinforcements will cross it. Every once in a while you get the odd vehicle that pulls up and they're like, wait, what's going on? So I need to drive over here? And hang a left and try to cross the river and get my crew drowned? No problem. Uh, but, but mostly they crossed the bridge. It really took moving these buildings over to the left a little bit, giving them more space here. Um, I always had this house over in this corner, so I don't know if that would have been a problem. But the funny thing about that is, is this house is right up against the road, and they don't have problems with it. Although, something just entered my mind. They're not crossing from this side, you know? I think if I had the British try to cross, that house might trip them up. It's funny, the little, little mini battles I have fought trying to get these uh, guys to work right. But, we'll, okay, so we'll start as the British and play it through. Hey, before I do, let me go check on my bathroom situation because I, I got to throw those towels in the washer now that they're all poop trooped out. Um, so if, if you will pardon me, I will. In fact, while I'm gone, I'll, I'll gear up the ambush one more time. What is that, Billy? That is funny stuff. That's crazy stuff. All right. But I'm not going to let this play through all the way. I'm going to, as soon as I come back, I'll take over a unit and play through it from the beginning. Um, I don't know what the truck has to do with anything. <laughs> Honestly, it was just kind of my spot to to put down an item and I just never took it back out. Now that I think about it, yeah, I think Operation Market Garden on the workshop has that exact problem with the tanks and infantry in the water. I, I'd imagine so, yeah. The bridges are really um, finicky things. Well, truly the AI is kind of finicky, but like even here, my convoy, they're not an exact convoy because they don't want another truck right in front of them. But, but you'll see, there's one on the right side of the road, one on the left side of the road, one in the center. It's, it's kind of funny. All right, going to check on the bathroom disaster we're experiencing here in the IRL. Be right back. Get, and pop those 
shit. Every once in a while, the German officer will hold out longer than his drivers. It never works out for him, though. Damn, that's a lot of commandos. Damn, that's a lot of commandos. Okay, let's start over, but be the British. Be the British. Uh-huh. Play as the Brits. Yes. I don't want to be the guy in charge. I'll just be a... Oh, we're a marksman. Dude, we don't want to go that way. Some of y'all are going to fall in the water. Maybe not. Maybe I should have put the boats on our side of the river. wonder how that would disrupt things. If it'd have a butterfly effect or not. Just dawned on me the background noise too. You can hear machine gun fire. That's <clears throat> not right. It would be very disconcerting if you already heard gunfire at this point. Hey, we're, we might get in the lead. I might be able to snipe the German officer. Get, I don't think so. It's not going to happen. You can see the path that we're running on is a little depressed and stuff. I mean, that too is from loading up the soldiers and then going back in the map editor and being like, well, they go this way. Let's make a little path to make it look like they're not the first ones to, to use this little... Could be a deer path. I don't know. No, I'm not going to be in the lead, am I? Nope, there's his car. I got one of them. May not have been the uh, colonel, but... Hey, somebody. Oh, yeah. Napoleonic warfare. Let's do this. My rock, back off. Yeah, I don't need a stinking rock, I guess. I'm fire. I'm under fire. I'm hurt. Oh, there's, there's, a... guys, help me! Help! There's one in there. Oh, he got Freddy. All right. Oh, he's dead. Well, I don't see shit, except for guys way over there. And I made the level. I bet I know what it is. Oh, dear. Yep, there it is. 
Nightmare on wheels and tracks. Oh god, no smoke bomb. Do have Panzer Fouls though. Surprise, shit for brains. Shoot. I'm under fire. <laughs> oh no. Oh man, how does one even fire these things? This is uh, just forget it. I'm going to take credit for that. So it looks like the British infantry have met up with us. It's amazing what a, a, a weak ass player. <laughs> oh man. Case in point. That's a medic. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Shoot. I think my health is pretty bad. Nothing a little tuna can't fix. Tell him to watch out, boys. I got my tuna. What do you think that was? I need more, I need more bandages. Let's take a Mills bomb and a smoke grenade too. Okay, thank you. Oh God, help me. Oh man. Uh, I got suppressed before I could. It's just not happening, dude. You know what? The church sucks. It's a vantage point. Ah! Tell you what, Trafford Murray, he lasted a long time. Alright, we'll go with the rifle section fire team. Ten men, I tried to Tried to do up the fire teams the way they were. I mean, I, I looked it up. Generally speaking, the British fire team, or well, rifle section, was eight men. But sometimes it could be ten, and if it was ten, it was two extra riflemen. And since the German squad in 1941 is 
the German group was 10, I thought, well, let's give them 10 as well. Yes, yes, that's right. Move it. We're moving it. Let's get this situation underway, shall we? A bit of a pickle, aren't we? Almost appears as if we're charging, wouldn't you say? Maybe heading to the bridge there, Sergeant. Don't you think? Just end everything with a question. Isn't that right? Um, the people running up the road, those are, those are Germans. That guy, right there. No, he's not. Oh, sorry, dude. Might as well misgender you, too. Sorry, ma'am. You know? What? I died of a stroke. Sounds like that Brit is from Texas. He said, under fire. Taking some fur over here. Well, that'll get me uh, that far. Then one of you boys, you be alive and throw some smoke yourselves, eh? Oh, that ridge right there. There's a Panzer IV on that ridge. Don't be aiming at me. You've got infantry right around you. Dude. I used my smoke, otherwise I'd smoke the tank. But... Hmm. Dude, he is shooting at me. His machine gunner is. And she tried to get a bead on me. I have an insignificant little flea. Look at how brave they are. Is that me talking that way? Disregarding the tank, I'm moving on the on the Grenade. town thing. It was way short. I'll, I'll give him a taste of things to come, though. I wonder if that was my fire team that's been mowed down over there. My section, as it were. They got smoke. Why even shoot, boys? Why even shoot? Just get up there. Okay, now we can shoot.
shit. Did he throw a grenade? Come on, dude. I'll get you out of here, baby. Right there. I'm right, sorry. There's a lot of other dead people or dying people. You'll be fine, I mean. had a Churchill tank or something. In fact, I'm pretty sure we do. Where is it? It should be coming up this road anyways. That would be great. Right. Oh yeah, there is. Uh, dude? Yeah, right there. You see him? You were the medic too, weren't you? Peek a bit. Peek up. Nice. Someday. Squad leader just requested tank support. Oh, damn. Oh, I do believe that's our tank. Yeah? Yeah, well, we're going to see about it tomorrow. It's 10.30 right now. It's technically bedtime. But Daddy's fighting World War II and fighting the Nazis, so... I think I can let you stay up a little later. After all, we can't let hatred win. Yes, look at that. Now that is love. It's pure love. Churchill Tank. I mean, it'll do. It'll definitely suffice. Boy, seen any extra grenades? Let those dead guys have some. Someone runs around him. The tank is here, dude. Well, I, I get it if he wants another. I'd like another, please. It's not a tank. Don't run over this dude. I'm getting some smoke grenades. There's some more bandages. AI rework should be coming within April, May, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, I've noticed that. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's weird though, like I say that as I'm getting used to the AI a little bit. Certainly I've, there's the things that I don't like about the AI, but I'd be lying if I said there weren't some things that I like about it. Well, we'll talk about it in a little bit. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'll get it. Sorry, thank you.
Did our tank just go to the other side? Well, there you go. I guess I guess the Brits will cross the bridge as well. That's good. Let's keep holding, boys. You're doing it. goodies. I'm not gonna die. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. I mean, you know. It's the German Air Force. It's the Luftwaffe. Rifle section fire team? Willie's Jeep? Yeah, let's do it. We're going to get up in this. It's like the Air Forces have shown up. Is that a German tank? Right there is a Panzer III. Dude, get out of the Jeep. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, I thought it was on fire. It's not. really want it out of this house. Oh, this guy's dead. We did it. Alright. Well, I don't know. I think that was fun from the British perspective. Got through it as well. Kind of weird that the... Weird way of ending it to have their tank on our side of the bridge and it's like you did it you won well what about the tank eh i guess they surrendered but they sure didn't need to <laughs> i don't know i don't know where our churchill went it just charged into the smoke and we never saw her again but boy were we glad to see her for that brief window um and hell i don't know maybe Maybe the Panzer III, or, or I think that was a Panzer III. Maybe that took out the Churchill. Who knows? All right, so now I got choices. It's my son's bedtime. But I could give him a few more minutes and play another, or I'll play as the Germans test that. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll try uh, one more of these. From the German perspective. Hey, maybe I should be the German officer in the, uh, in the Jeep. Play as the assassinated. Yeah. It's called Officer Fire Team. And I believe we gotta be Carbolines. Even though he's not the officer, this is how I get him in the back seat. Yeah, yeah, and so I told her, I said... They're staying at this lovely manor. I mean, I can't do it, yeah. That's is good, yeah? Or is it good? Should we say good? Kind of see the silliness that the trucks go through. The way he was, like, backing away to get back on the road. I don't know. This guy's not even on the road. It's called defensive driving. I've always liked this little hamlet. I could see myself living here for the next 50 years, yeah. Well, 
we're going to destroy it. I bet we can stop him at the Hamlet, to be honest. With player intervention, I think, uh... I don't think we can stop him at the ambush point. Oh, nice. British uniform reworks. I mean, on the Discord, the one thing I asked for was, like, officers. I think officer uniforms would be great. And, like, different French uniforms, although I know they just reworked the French uniforms. Hold on, I'm gonna... Oh, wait. Get me out of here. Oh. Colonel Kallerman is, uh, is dead. We'll be in the second truck. Just a rifleman. Um, what's going on? These guys up there at the next truck need our help, yeah? Do I have a helmet or anything? No, but I've got my gear. Well, I guess those guys at that other truck are, are done. Kaput! a little loud for after that time. Shoot. There we go. Our first kill. Man. I don't think my grenade did anything. So three you with me? Oh, Gunter. Well, now. This dude is just gonna run and he's gonna get gunned down before he crosses the street. Get our heel on. Get some tuna. Vital. More tuna just in case. Just in case we start suffering from a tuna deficit. Dude. That old Fritz there was shooting at me. Uh, British uh, scout vehicles. Of course, we know where there are Panzer Faust. Oh, it's do or die. Oh, I thought I could go in there. Okay, I can, kinda. Oh, I hit him? I did hit. I don't know if I took him out. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> That's great. Try to lay down so we can use the tripod. A little late now. The crew is laying on the ground there, but they gone. What are you all seeing that? I 
I see. They're behind the tank. They should be showing up to the left of uh, the Daimler here in a second. In fact, there's their uh, obligatory smoke. There's our half tracks, am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hell. Where are they? They're just dead bodies. Two of them up there on the hill. I feel like they're coming from the church area. We're straight down the road. I don't see any, but I do see flashes. There, I'm seeing something. I'm seeing movement, anyway. Gosh, man, these German machine guns are ridiculous. Get out of my town. Thanks, boys. Good hanging out with you. accuracy shooting from the hip, which seems about right. Panzer Shrek! Since, you know, my accuracy with these seems to be so spot on. I mean, maybe from point blank range. No? We hit. Did he just let us do that? Oh yeah, we did take him out. Alright, good. So I have to jump to get in that door. That's a problem. 
I need to sink this house down a little more. Here we go. It's about time that guy showed up. You're overdue, you bricks. Is the Daimler down the road took me out? That's so tempting to be part of the Pansy Grenadier fire team, Mike. But no, I'm kind of enjoying infantry. Like strict infantry, not. Where's he going? Oh, it must be our squad leader. You're all squad leader? Huh, we did it. That that was actually not I don't want to say too easy, but too easy. So hmm. Too easy plus that um that half track didn't get there until it's really late. I don't know. I don't know if it was... Uh, I mean, the alternative is to make the, the British to bolster them somehow. I don't know if I want to do all that because playing as the British, I did... I died here? Of course I died several times as the Germans. British I died once here. And then respawned as someone else and might have died a couple times, but lasted a good amount of the time as one guy. I don't know. Either way, that's my map. Water Draco, how you doing, by the way? Good to see you, man. He said, oh no, Heinz, catch up. Bye. Um, all right, I think I'm going to go, I'm going to get this little madman to bed. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to show my map. Um, I like the bridge. As you can see, I, I used this obsolete stone to, uh, build up around the bridge. Uh, kept thinking about making it bigger, but then I'm like, no, this is, this is country road. Really country road. And so no, no big towns. Um, the only thing I noticed last night when messing with this was like, I like that. I like being on this side, looking out the window and seeing that. Like that's, that's pretty cool. From the German perspective, looking back, that seems pretty, uh, pretty barren. But again, as I mentioned much earlier in the stream, I've considered like a little cabin or farmhouse here. Not a big farm or anything, but uh, I think that would help. Um, and certainly once you cross the river, I mean, as you can see, the mission ends at the river once you cross it, which will be the next series of missions. Um, but I've got work I need to do with this side of the river, which is actually smaller because it ends right where that turn is. Um, but it's enough room to, uh, it's enough room to have a firefight. So that, that works. Um, but yeah, man, uh, 
I would say that like I like this map. Like the first map I made, which was supposed to be kind of like southern southern France or whatever. I like it, uh, but but this one it was more like me trying to challenge myself to be like, all right, well, let's try something specific. Let's try a bridge and a river and see see how the mechanics work with that and. And yeah, despite the fact that the end result is straight roads, I love that the convoys stick to the roads. And I especially dig the uh, the very beginning where the officer, the German officer and his little convoy gets gets ambushed. Um, I don't think that'll ultimately be the name of the mission. But, but yeah, I'm satisfied, I suppose. Uh... And yeah, there's still more little details to put in, but in terms of like the basic mission, I'm okay with it. Hey, JDM, how you doing? Good to see ya. You missed it, but it's there for posterity. And someday, they'll let us actually play these maps on multiplayer. As they do on PC, but... They're just not there yet on Xbox. And in the meantime, I'm kind of like, well, then I can I can show off what I've built, I guess, just using YouTube if I can't share it one way. I mean, after all, like early on in this channel, we did some Fallout 4 builds. That's kind of how I feel, like I'm doing like some kind of like city skylines thing or something, you know, like build it and share it online. I don't know about you, but I think uh, I think this uh, hay field needs some big old bales of hay. The, the tractor does it for this one. That's good. And things that, like... I kind of hate that this building's on the periphery. Still need to connect that fence. But, but it is straight up. I mean, it's got the German flags outside because, of course, they drive through here and the officer's like, Oh, so that's where I want to set up my headquarters. Because, you know, stereotypical shit, right? Um, I still wish I employed this somehow. I don't even know what it is. There's another weird thing. As I'm building this place, it's like... I don't know. I almost tricked myself into, like, I already thought, like, yeah, whoever's house this is, even though this was a late addition... I was like, man, they've got the commanding view of the entire valley. Like, the name of this town, probably the same name as the people that lived in this house or some sh shite. But, uh, but yeah, that. I also wish they had, I wish they had tree trunks that were cut down. Because an obvious thing you could put in here is a logging camp, you know. But you can't place cut down trees to my knowledge. Might have to, uh, like, genuinely look into that, though, because if you can, that can fill one of these empty spaces. And I know they have, like, piles of logs. <laughs> you tease. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's dumb. Uh, I, know, uh, I know they have, like, stacks of logs you can use as cover, so, you know, that would naturally fit in. But I like this because it's, like, somewhat commanding ground. Somewhat. Yeah, it is. It just flat out is commanding ground. All right. I got to get the boys, the boys, just one. Uh, sometimes it seems like he has the power of more, but he is just one. Uh, I got to get the boy to bed. Oh, another thing about this is, like, I did mix and match. Like, that's an Italian building. These are Ardennes buildings. So, unfortunately, I guess what I'm saying is, like, you need the DLC. Like, if if there ends up being a way to play this multiplayer, I guess you would need the DLC to play this map. But what I was specifically doing was looking for buildings that could be damaged. Some of the buildings don't take any damage. And I wanted to make sure every building that I used that was, like, central could be destroyed. Because, I mean, you know. You know. Um... And though they have some impressive looking buildings that can't take damage, i.e. this one, 
the manor house over there. Even this one, although you can enter it. Um, but I don't think this one can take damage. Uh, so I put those on the periphery. <coughs> I still use them, but you know. I want everything that stands a good chance of getting hit to be able to collapse. I also want it all to be enterable. And, oh, and I didn't think the church took damage, but then in the middle of testing... I saw it take damage, and I was like, heck yeah. Heck yeah, Wayne, we did it. I don't even know. That's not from anything. It's not. Maybe it is. The boys. Yep, remember, it's 1941. We don't have bazookas for British. We got to take out the boys. And do it that way. Yeah, I, I, I agree. The Ardennes house is... Nice destruction. I like a destruction on these. It's real nice. Real nice destruction. But this Italian building, it has some destruction. And I want to put an AT gun right in here. Because I know those German jerks would do it. They'd be like... But I didn't want to do it for this mission. Because again, I, I like the idea that like... Yeah, this is, nobody expected the British to hit this deep. Anyhow... Hey, that's going to do it for me. I do want to thank everybody for stopping by this evening. I hope you have a just luxury-filled weekend full of all the good things. Candies, giant humanoid rabbits like Usagi Yojimbo or the Easter Bunny, incidentally. Um, but yeah, I, I hope uh, you have many good things but before you go i want to talk to you about christ our lord and savior no i i don't <laughs> but, hey but it is the weekend for it anyhow i want to thank mr vang good to see you i want to thank you sir i want to thank caspa dino guy jdm um jdm is also known as a uh, drebin uh water draco uh, VRP Games, True Flat, Kilvo, Diz, and anybody that might have been out there lurking tonight, you are appreciated too. Just for, for who you are, for what you do. Hey, if you like this kind of thing, like this kind of thing, if you subscribe to this kind of thing, you can do that too. Otherwise, you can piss off till next time. Good night.